Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden. And today we're going to work on another um, project from our Bargain Bead Box Midnight Skies kit. This one is going to be an anklet. If you'll recall when we worked on the bracelet, I said this would also make a nice anklet. So I have designed an anklet using those little sun and star, uh, moon and star um, connectors as well. And let's turn down and get to work on it. Okay, I've got some soft flex wire out, and I have also got out a whole bunch of my beads and such from my kit. That looks like a squished connector there. And, uh, and I've got some soft flex. crimp tubes as well and a couple of jump rings and a nice big lobster claw. I've also got an extender chain which I do believe this lobster claw will fit on. Well it'll go on but then it won't. It just barely goes on but that's okay it still works. And if I don't want to use this particular one, I do have some with some bigger chain. In fact, we will probably trade to that since this lobster claw doesn't really want to go on that extender. So we have our So what we have here is some labradorite. our um, connectors, three of those, some of the blue beads, some of the English cut, and some stars. Lots of stars. Those are our spacers, of course. Okay, after giving it a little thought, I put that one extender chain away because I think the chain was a little bit thin, and I got out a couple of, um, this was my last remaining English cut, and I had a little few little labradorites right left, so we're going to use those for our extender chain. So, like I said, I got those two beads out, then I got this chain, and a ball head pin so we can make our own little extender chain. This chain has got much bigger length so our, as you can see, our lab lobster class fits in that much better. So we'll set that aside. Along with our lobster claw and our um, jump rings. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put this like so. Our little labradorites are going to go right in the middle of these. And then we're going to have stars. Some More stars and some English cuts between these. Now I'm going to measure these before I put these together because you want, with an anklet, since these are the main focal pieces, we want this right at the ankle bone and this at the heel and this where your um, foot joins with your you know, right up at the top there. And if we need to take out something in order to make that happen, then we will do so. But let's get these in order. And then we'll maybe do a little measuring, see how that works. If it's going to work, if it's not going to work. Now, 
Now remember we're going to be putting our soft flex in here with the crimp little crimp tube so we're going to actually end up having this be a little longer than this. So then we're going to also put in like so a little bit here and our rondelle. So, these are going back here, so we don't want them right yet, and then this is about the length it would be. So since an anklet is about 9 inches, as you can see it states 9 inches for an anklet on our um, sizer. So that is about the smallest anklet actually, though I know of people that have smaller anklets than that. So we're looking pretty good, but half of four and a half would be about two and a quarter. So we're not really hitting the right space with our pieces here. So what we may do is take out the little labradorite and star here and put them out here and we'll see how that hits if that hits better so at four and a half yeah that's that's probably going to hit a little bit better so let's take these little guys out and put them over here on the end It actually is still even a little bigger than I would like it to be because it should be at two and a quarter and then seven. Looks like it's hitting seven better. Of course, I may have some gaps in here. So I think this is the way it's going to, to go up together, right like this. And we will start by stringing in these middle sections, then go to the ends. So let's put the ends up here somewhere so they're not quite in our way. And we'll get out some of our Softlex Medium Lapis. We've got our crimp tubes right there. And we'll start stringing this section together. Though I'm sort of debating something. I'm debating whether I want to sort of switch these up some so that um, we have some more colors up in the front here. Like so. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we don't really need this much soft flex, but I'm going to cut this much off. I think it'll be enough for both sections, maybe enough for the whole thing. Actually, it probably will be enough for the whole thing because it's quite a long piece. I think I got about a foot at least here. Yeah, it's a little over a foot, probably about 14 inches. Definitely longer than I need, I think. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. So let's put a crimp tube on this one side, go through our connector. Come on, baby, in your loop. Push this over. Go back through our connector or not our connector, but our crimp tube. Pull her up. Now I don't want a lot of space, but I do want some. So we'll, that looks pretty good to me. I think we're, our wires are folded though. So let's get those straightened. Now we'll get the magical crimpers. Now these have a divot in here. 
if you can see it right there, where you put your crimp tube. You only can use two by two crimp tubes on this. Put it right in the middle and squish. And it's gonna get make it sort of square. Then turn it around so the square edges are then inside and squish again and turn and squish a few more times till you have it not um, squishing anymore. So there we go, this is on. Now we need to see if our first few beads, our English cut, will go over the wire. Looks like it went right over it with no problem whatsoever. So then we'll go on to our here. I think I'm going to turn this around so it's facing the other direction. As you can see they have a hole here and then the other hole is right up here at the top of the star. So I want this to go this way. So the smaller side is across that English cut. See how that fits better? And then we'll have our rondelle. And this one, the point sometimes goes into the rondelle here when you do this. And oh well, that's the way it goes. So now these stars I have facing th this direction. So the big, um, so the point is going that direction. When I get to the next set, I will reverse that so they're going the opposite way. Okay, now we have this section put on and we need another crimp tube. And we'll put on our next section. Now, you got to be careful because the wire will sometimes, you've got to get the wire straight, otherwise it will flip your piece to the other direction. Which I think I'm doing right now. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Push this through here. Come on, baby. Go through the crimp and then go through our first bead or two. Okay, and we need to pull her up tight. And see how she's sitting. Looks like she's sitting the right way. If I can, if I'm right here. Nope, this one's upside down to that one. See how that is? This is the hardest thing because sometimes you put them on, you're sure you got them the right way, and but then when you lay them down on through the table, they flip over to the other direction. So let's see what we got going on here. So we don't, we want to pull our wire back out and see if we can get it turned in a way that it makes it happier.
Okay, that looks like it's happier now. So let's pull this just a little bit so it's about the same as the other side. Get this pushed down some so that they're fitting more capably here. And get our crampon plier in there. Get it in the divot and squish. Turn, squish, turn, squish. And there we go. Now we'll clip off this extra wire. And we've got our first two pieces put in place. Now let's get our second um, second piece put in, which will make the third of our um, connections. So here we have this next one on. We'll crimp it. One, two, three. And it doesn't look like it's squishing anymore. Let's tug, do the tug test if it's fine. So let's get our next set of beads on. So we go with our English cut first and she goes down and on this wire then our star and this time remember we're facing the other direction so we want to put the point in first like so Come on, no falling off. Okay. And lastly, our English cut. Now our crimp tube. And then we've got to get this one on so that it stays the direction we want it. So let's put her on. And we want to go above on this crimp instead of sides or down below. We want above. We make sure that that, that uh, wire is still sitting above. Tighten her up so that she fits good. 
and then we're going to crimp. Turn, crimp, turn, crimp, turn, crimp. Do our tug test. We're good. And now we need to cut this extra wire off. And now we have the main part of our anklet done. And let's see where that ends up falling. So if this is four and a half, where we want it to be for the, see it's a little longer than I'd like it to be because I would have liked it over here. But, well, actually four and a half is not quite right there there we go so I still would have liked it up a little closer but it's not bad in fact it's pretty good so there is where our anklet is going to sit as far as the sides of our foot are concerned like so so now we need to put on our sides here and then we will also put on our crimp, I should say our lobster claw, and we'll need to make our um, extender chain for the other side. Of course, the first thing we want to do is get our um, wire onto our link here, connector, pull it over. Put her on. There we go. Now we want to do our crimp here. Crimp. Turn. You turn so I can get you crimped more. There we go. Tug test. Looking good. So now we're going to put on Now since our, our stars were facing this direction on this side <coughs> We're going to keep that up going around. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this wire right here because the star doesn't want to sit down in it really well, so cut it off right here at the base of the English cut. Now put the star back on, then our rondelle, the star, and our little labradorite. Now I can tell you right now, I know the, the wire will not go through the lab, labradorite twice, so we have to cut it off right at um, where it joins in. So we're going to get one of the jump rings. Though you wouldn't need to actually put the jump ring on right now. You actually could just um, make a little loop, then of course put your jump ring on. Oops, forgot the, uh, the crimp tube. Can't do anything without the crimp tube. So crimp tube down, now the ring back on. Now what we're going to do, of course, so we're going to go through here, and since it won't go through the labradorite, we just pull her up. Make sure she's relatively good there. And then we will tighten this just a hair's breadth more. 
you know, made a pretty big loop there. I don't want that big of a loop, so we want to pull that tighter than that. And we, when we have it the what, where we want it, then of course we'll want to um, just crimp it here. So get our crimping pliers out and crimp that little tube. Squish, turn, squish, turn, squish, turn. Okay, that's good. So we'll cut this extra wire off right at the crimp bead tube. So there we go. And that side is now done. What are we doing here? Okay. And now we can put our lobster claw on this side. So we'll get our pliers out and open the jump ring up and put the lobster claw on here. And close her back up. So now this side is all done and we just need to put the other side on and then we will put on our extender chain. Let's see how long we've got it now because that did go and add quite a bit of length. So see we're just a bit, we're just at a little over nine inches. And so now we get the other side on. Get on our tube. And then we'll hook her onto this side. Crimp. Now again on this side I'm going to cut the wire down just a little bit. It doesn't need to be much smaller than that for our English cut to sit on right there. there we go. Star which is now going facing the other direction because we're going to with this one. Oop, dropped our star here. And our little labradorite. There we go. Now we want our crimp tube again and our jump ring. Now we got to be careful because the jump ring is going to go over that if you don't watch it. And we don't want it over that, so we'll go this direction. Then we want to bring our wire through our crimp. One crimp. There we go. And pull her up.
And once we have her all pulled up, we crimp it. Turn, 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 and turn. So now we cut the extra wire off. And as you can see, I have a good three or four inches here. So definitely you didn't need more than a foot because I think I had 14 or 15 inches. Cut off. Okay. And let's see how much I did have left because, like I said, we did measure it. It was about 14 inches, a little over 14, maybe 15. And I had an extra four inches. So 12 would have been enough. So let's see how long this ended up being. We're just barely over nine inches, so that's good. Now what we need to do is we need to put our chain on and then we're going to fix a little um, our extender chain. And then we're going to fix a little um, little dangle for the bottom of our extension chain to make it look pretty. Go. Pretty, going to be a pretty anklet. So now we need to, to do up our dangle here. Okay, I've got a little head pin, or eye pin, and there's my English cut. Then I'm going to use this little ball. I would put a star on it, but we ran out of stars. Those stars were it. So come here, you. There we go. Now we'll wrap this baby up. Bend it 90 degrees. Get my stepped bell making pliers. I use the lowest or the smallest one. Tuck that in here, wrap it around, drop it down and bring it around. Make sure we got our lollipop shape which we do. Now I'm just going to feed it directly onto the chain so we don't have any excess connections. Then we'll take our pliers and we're going to hold this right where the bend is right here. Then we'll just wrap this up. Trim off our extra little bit and squish her back into place. And there we go. There is our anklet with its extender chain on it. Let's see how, how big it ended up being. Oh, now see, it's not even quite nine. It's eight and three quarters. But of course, with the extender chain on, we can get it quite a bit longer. So there's our anklet. Isn't that cool? And I think it turned out quite nicely. And these are not quite in the middle, as you can see when I put my thumb in to bring it around, they're pretty close, darn close even. But if we wanted to take this up so it was nine, because it was eight and three quarters, we'll go up a couple of links on our extender chain, and then I think it's just about perfect. 
it could go one more link to get to that area where I want it but still really good so there we go there's our anklet with our extender chain with the little dangle isn't that pretty I think it turned out really nicely so that is really good so anyway here is our anklet turned out just the size I wanted it to be turned out really nice extender chain with our little dangle and very pretty very pretty so this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden using the Bargain Beadbox Midnight Skies, which was January's kit. And we have been making a really pretty little anklet. There she is. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I enjoyed making it. I think it's really pretty. And uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.